I've had a really bad week, month, year, and I just wanted to talk about how you guys are really motivating and that I shouldn't give up on stuff because seeing all your comments, particularly on like my first video, um, there is a lot of comments and they're really lovely and I appreciate it and if I can work out how to do it then I'll put some up here because they're really nice um, and they're always saying like how amazing I am or um, that I'm talented and stuff but I'm not saying this to brag I'm just trying to acknowledge how happy that makes me and um, I was planning a video and I can't actually edit anything right now because my computer's playing up but I was planning a video and this was a while ago and I just picked it back up yesterday because it was supposed to be a video of me painting the new Pokemon starter um, Browlet, which is the grass type if, if anybody doesn't know um, it's basically an owl but it went terribly wrong I mean, I'll put the clip in, you might not think so, but I really hated it, so I didn't touch it for about a month, if not more, two months maybe. But then I was procrastinating, avoiding doing work, like you do, and I was watching Portrait Artist of the oh, bit, bit, bit. I was watching Portrait Artist of the Year, and I don't know what it is about that show, but it really inspires me to get creative. So I was thinking about how I'm receiving all these comments about so talented and it's going to be great, all your, your work is amazing. And I just wanted to point out that that's one piece of art in about a hundred. I'll do many things and I'll hate them or they'll not go to plan, or I'll just sketch and I'll not finish, or... There's so many things that I don't actually do. And the stuff you see is only a preview of what I go through to get a piece of art I actually like um, and feel comfortable with sharing. Not every piece of work is the same and will be good. And I wanted to show how you could take that piece of work and make it into one you actually like. Because this is Plop from the book. If you've never read it, then it's an amazing book. Uh, it's called um, The Owl Who's Afraid of the Dark. And it was one of my childhood stories that my mum always read to me. And I still wanted to stick with the owl thing. I loved everything about the painting apart from the actual subject matter. So I loved the the tree branch and the background. I just hated Rowlet itself. So I thought, right, well, I'll use a different technique. I'll give up on the smooth and I'll just completely whack out the palette knives and splosh paint everywhere and it'll be great. And I didn't expect it to be good or anything because at that point, I didn't really care about this piece of art, I was just inspired, and I wanted to do something. So, I did. And, you know what, it turned out amazing, and I think that's just the point of this whole thing, is to believe in yourself, and don't give up, because this applies to everything in my life, not just painting. And I was raised to not give up. So, this was done with, initially, a palette knife because the whole problem with the painting that I didn't like was that because I was using paint that dries quicker than my usual paint I didn't have enough time to combine it? mix it? I don't know I don't know technical terms um, to get the effect I wanted so I ended up putting on tons of layers to achieve something that didn't look good um, so I didn't want that and um, you can probably not really anymore the beak was there you can kind of tell only I would probably tell but it's the whole point was that I didn't like that texture however I didn't like that texture 
in that circumstance. I did the detail on the eyes with brush and the feet and then to round off the edges I just used a paintbrush. I wasn't filming this because A I didn't think it would actually turn out good, B I didn't know what I was doing so there's not much point showing you my process because I didn't know what the heck I was doing and three I was not prepared for it. It was like, I don't know, three in the afternoon and I was watching TV and I was in my pyjamas and I know you probably don't care about that but I kind of did and I didn't want to go to the effort of getting the camera out because in that moment I wanted to paint. I didn't know that if I got the camera out I would still want to paint. So you got to understand that I can't always film it but I do try and I really hope that I can keep trying because I want this to go somewhere even if I can just help those people out there who are like teach me your ways I think that was one of the comments like teach me your, your ways senpai or something I, I liked it so thumbs up to you but <laughs> so if you have any suggestions if about how you want me to teach you guys not palette knives, because I have no clue, but <laughs> anything else, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. But do bear in mind that it won't be a professional standard because I am self-taught. So, yeah, you'll get just my kind of style. I don't know, I'm probably being really cliche right now, but I thought it was a good enough message to share with you guys because I really like this, and I hope you do too. Okay, uh, thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!